All right. Next up, we have Phil Cimento and Georgia Stavrakis on Time Zone Horror Stories, and Jonathan's up next. All right, Vladek, I need you to look at me in my eyes. Stare my soul through my eyes. Are you doing that? I need, I need you folks in the, in the stream to do that as well. Are you all looking at me? All right, I'm going to ask you a few questions. You will answer, OK? How many hours are there in a day? Yes. All right, so we have time zones. That's an easy one, right? If the uh, time zone move, moves, uh, if you enter daylight saving time, got a 23 hour day, and if it, you would exit out of a daylight saving time, you get a, five, a 25 hour day, right? So that means we have 23, 24, or 25 hour days, right? <laughs> the Lord Howe Island in Australia. Australia has half an hour time, uh, daylight saving times. So for them, they have 23 hours and half, 30 minutes, hour days. 24 hours and 24 hours and 30 minutes, half days. All right. So um, maybe we shouldn't talk too much about hours. Let's talk about minutes, shall we? How many seconds are there in a minute? Gladek. So let's talk about the leap second. Uh, did you know that the rotation of the Earth is irregular and random and unpredictable? And we need to add random seconds and random years to account for that? Yeah, that happens. Um, on Unix, we pretend that doesn't happen, the Unix timestamps. They simply pray that nothing bad happens. Does nothing bad happen? Things, things always happen, right? Um, but I have good news for you folks. We're not going to have to, to, to deal with that anymore. As per 2035, this will be obsoleted because it has caused more bugs than it has shifted the time to the appropriate rotation of the Earth. All right. Um, when does a day start? Well, that's kind of an intuitive, right? Um, if you shift, if you're in living in a country that shifts the clock forward right at midnight, then your day is going to start at 1 a.m. But like, how many times can a day start per day? <laughs> so if you live in a country like I do that shifts the clock backwards, you reach midnight, your day starts, and then you're back at 11 p.m. And then you're going to have the day start again. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about time zones, too. If you divide the globe into 24 time zones, what do you think it looks like? <laughs> Maybe like, like segments of an orange. It looks like this. <laughs> Okay, so maybe the slices aren't equal, but surely there are 24 of these slices, one for each hour. <laughs> um, you see here the nine and a half hour time zone <laughs> and the 10 and a half hour time zone. <laughs> this is the Lord Howe Island over here that George has mentioned before. Um, Almost 20% of the world's population lives in a time zone with a 30-minute boundary. Uh, India, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Iran, Myanmar, Marquesas Islands, several time zones in Australia, and one time zone in Canada. Surely all the boundaries are on a half hour. Plus five and three quarters. Nepal? <laughs> it's also a time zone in Australia that does this. Surely all the boundaries are on 15 minutes. Eh, <laughs> they don't exist anymore, but in the computing era, as recently as 1972, Liberia had a time zone offset of 44 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> We're just going to leave you with this fun story. Pause the frame if you're watching the stream. Thank you.